we have the same sequence that we saw in question three. So we know that it's geometric, but now they're saying which term has a value of, and then they give us a big number. So we use the geometric formula and we already know the values. So what we do is we say three, five, four, two, nine, four equals two. Now A is your first term, which is two. R is three. How do I know that R is three? Because I can see that they are multiplying by three when going from one term to the next. If you battle to find that, you can just say T2 over T1, which is going to be equal to six divided by two, which is three. Then N we don't know, so we do that. Now what a lot of students do is they multiply these two together and they call it six. That is not correct because this N minus one is only an exponent for the three. So what we can do now is we need to try to get n by itself. So what I like to do is I divide by 2 first on the left hand side because that gets rid of this. And so that's 177147 equals to 3 to the n minus 1. What you do then with this number here is you break it up into its prime numbers or you can use logs. Any, any approach will give you the same answer. So I'm going to actually show you both methods. I'm going to use the prime factor method first. So if you have a Casio calculator, you just type this number in on your calculator, the 177147. You then say equals. You then push the button shift. And then you look for the button that says fact. And that gives you 3 to the 11 equals to 3 to the n minus 1. Now these 3's are the same, so they cancel out. And so we would say n minus 1 equals 11. If you had to get n by itself, you should get 12. Let's use the log method. With the log method, you would come up to here. And you would say the exponent, which is n minus 1. Actually, let me do this in a different color. So you'd say n minus 1 equals to the log. Now, the number that was with the exponent comes first, and then the other number comes next. So it's 177147. Go ahead, type that in, and that gives us 11. And then, of course, if you take the minus 1 over, you get 12. 